Hello and welcome to Letty Blue Guidance. Today we are going to do a collective read for all the signs. Okay, keep in mind this this uh, these cards have already been shuffled. Okay, we're just going to do a collective energy for all the signs on this full moon today. Today is June the fourteenth, twenty twenty two. Okay, so what is it that we need to know for the collective? Okay, the devil, nine of wands. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Okay, and we're just going to get the bottom of the deck. Page of Cups. Well, let's get another one. Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck. The Hierophant. Okay, so there's definitely lessons that we're trying to learn. Okay, so first off, we have the Devil. So the Devil is some type of bondage okay that um we are are um holding on to this world the devil is all around us okay so there's something um that we can be obsessed with or something um that has got a hold on us that is not easily um um for us to let go but keep in mind that this energy is an energy where all of us um we can we can get out of that energy okay if we want to okay because these are false fears okay this is something that you can get out of okay so that's the devil the nine of wands okay the nine of wands is saying that we're almost um to the completion of a cycle but we're just not at it yet and we just have to pe be persistent in what we want to do with our passions our inspirations things of that nature we are definitely coming to you know some type of um completion and we're almost there okay now what else the energy we have is the princess the prince which is the princess of this which is really the page of pinnacles so we have some new paths opening definitely because we have two two pages here we have the page of pinnacles and we have also the page of cups okay and this page is actually the page of pinnacles is just saying that there's new paths opening maybe new opportunities um pertaining to jobs maybe um maybe new materialism like houses you know maybe you're um trying to get a house maybe you're trying to apply for a new job um you know uh anything that's like um new wise maybe business wise maybe money wise um that you're trying to pursue you have this um page here the page of pinnacles with the page of cups you're going to be um some type of offer is coming in that's going to make you emotionally happy emotionally um you're just going to have this happiness overall happiness some type of message is going to come in okay um basically it's just a new path that's that's opening for you now with the Hierophant, we have the Hierophant as the overall energy here. And the Hierophant is basically a guidance, okay? You have the devil here and you have the Hierophant here. So if you're trying to uh, pursue something, if you're trying to study, or if you're trying to um, do something pertaining to, um, you know, um, your work or um, if you're going to school or any type of thing that is requiring some type of structure, you have the guidance here to keep you in line and to keep you moving forward because the devil here is definitely, um, you know, holding a bondage on you with something that is false, okay, that you can actually um, get out of, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify, okay? We're going to clarify the devil. Keep in mind that I've shuffled these cards already. Clarify the devil for the collective, please. Okay, the moon. Okay, we're gonna clarify the nine of wands, the six of swords. We're gonna clarify the actually pinnacles here, the page of pinnacles, page of cups. Okay, and one more under all death okay yes we're definitely going through some type of trans transformation here in this energy here okay so first to clarify the devil we have the moon here and the moon is um 
like an illusionary thing for us. It's like most of the time we think of the moon, we think of, you know, um, darkness and it is a full moon and it is the moon. We think of darkness. We think of things being mysterious, you know, mysterious paths, things of that nature, things that we cannot see clearly on, right? There's fog, there's wolves barking, there's all kinds of stuff. But the moon also has a, a, a light with it. So when you have the moon and the devil together, it's, it's some type of deception that's going on, right, in this world right now. So it's just saying right now, just to keep your eyes open, follow your gut, listen to whatever voice that is necessary and to keep moving forward because you do not have to be tricked by this devil energy, okay? With this nine of wands, something in your life is definitely holding you, um, this nine of wands, something is definitely holding you where you feel like you are tired, okay? But like I said, you are coming to an ending of a cycle and it might have you um, going somewhere where you have to travel to um, feel better about yourself with this six of swords because in your mind you know that it's time to move on okay from this um from this you know type of energy that's really wearing you out okay so that's where the six of swords is okay you are moving on to better shores to better yourself okay now with this page of um, pentacles you have the empress as their clarifier and with this empress energy let me tell you the empress is very um abundant she's very creative so it's saying be creative with your energies right now um don't let anything um pull you off the path of what you need to do because the empress is very uh nurturing she's very abundant but the thing with the princess is and you got this page of this this new path you're gonna have to work with the empress the empress is somebody you have to work with but this empress is very abundant in every Thing. So whatever you are thinking about, your creativity, the things that you really want is definitely um, here. But with the Empress, I'm going to let you know, you have to work and the Empress will make everything fertile. She will make everything abundant for you. So just keep moving forward. Okay, your next, in, you know, your next um, card is the page of cups. Now, emotionally feeling, you know, sometimes, you know, we have the six of pentacles. Okay, sometimes in life we um we give, we give, we give, but we never receive. But with the page of cups, it's time for something to come in for you now. Okay. You've worked and you've worked, but now it's time. You've always given, right? So now it's time for you to receive now. Okay. So this is the collective energy. It's time for you to receive because now um with this Empress here okay and with all the hard work you've done with the nine of wands you are definitely um moving into a time where it's give and take you've given and now it's time for you to take back with this page of cups and something is definitely going to make you know give you that emotional happiness that you true you desire it might be some type of love coming in that you've wanted um it could be some type of um you know project that you've been working on at work I mean, it's just something that you've been wanting to do. You're going to get a message on what you need to do. Now, you might get that message with your dreams, with the moon, you know, um, all these things. But just keep in mind that give and take, now it's time for you to receive, okay? Because you're not, you have been giving and now it's time for you to receive, okay? With this Hierophant, it's just saying, okay, your death card is here, okay? You have the Hierophant. This is a person who's going to give you guidance, right? Guidance on the end of a cycle. Now, death is usually, so a lot of people are like, ooh, that's death. No, but death is just saying that there's transformation coming, there's changes coming, we're in a new world. Um, it's time to embrace what it is and, you know, um, don't dwell on the past. Be willing to understand that um, death is a transition into, you know, we're going into a new world right now. So this is what it is right now, okay? And death is just saying that you're you're transforming, okay? Understand that things are going in cycles and now it's time for you to transform and go into a new cycle, okay? All right, and we're just gonna get a clarifier card for the overall collective, please. Can we get a clarifier? Okay. Clarify a card for the collective. Clarify a card. Can I get one card for the collective, please? One card for the collective, please. Can I get one card for the collective? Okay. All right. This one wanted to come out. So. We have the Pelican. Optimism. Okay. What a good card. Okay. So. The pelican is an, an amenable inhabitant of 
ephemeral islands, Pelican enjoys a life of transience inspired by possibilities. He averts traditional norms, unmistakably unique in form. He plunges headlong into each experience, harvesting gusto from each wave of opportunity. Unattached to expectations and averse to unnecessary burden, he is guided by his persistent optimism. Pel Pelican encourages us to enthusiastically forage through life, resting momentarily only to embrace it in earnest once again. Okay, so the pelican is basically optimism. Okay, so stay optimistic with this transition that we're going through. Whatever that you really, whatever you're moving forward to here um, and you want to um, be abundant in, just stay optimistic, okay, within that um, realm so you can keep moving forward. Okay, we're going to have one more card, one more card, one more card. Can I have one card for the collective, please? One more card. All right. So I got two cards that just fell out right away. Okay, so we got choose love. If you're struggling with an obstacle or conflict, choose a path of love. Suffering, doubt, and frustration all transform in the presence of love. So show your love courageously. Show your love openly. Show your love with no strings attached. It's safe to give and receive love. In fact, if you have a hard time with self-love, start outside yourself and work your way in. Showing love to others can be a gateway for loving yourself. Okay, so choose love. And that's basically saying, you know, um with this give and take card here choose love you know understand that we are all capable of being loved we are all capable of um guidance we are all capable of helping each other during the most trying times okay now um i got another card of love and this one is offer your love okay and this one is saying if there's someone in your life who could benefit from loving kindness the gesture the gesture doesn't have to be big send an email pick up the phone pop by for a visit or order a banquet of posies let this person know that you're thinking of him or her when we offer our love generously that caring energy comes back to us tenfold while also lifting us up in the process reach out and offer your love today okay so that's your your reading for this full moon okay for the collective now basically that love message is saying still give and take you got two love messages okay give and take okay sometimes when you give others and you do for others you feel really good about yourself because it also helps you too in the process it also helps you to become more graceful more caring more understanding okay more passionate about people in general but one thing people don't realize that we have to come together as one before we all are able to evolve in a better world okay so this is your full moon reading for um june the 14th for my subscribers thank you for coming back for the ones who have not subscribed to me if you like the content if you like the reading please do um subscribe also for um those new people or for anyone that's coming if you would like the video that would be most appreciative so i can bring my um content more to the front front of forefront of youtube sorry it's early in the morning and i'm in the car trying to do something um to help our world here but anyway yes if you can just like the video it would be most appreciative okay thank you and have a good day bye